Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. I don't know what's going on with this whole energy around this eclipse. Um, that and the Mercury retrograde right now. So much. Energies are so different. Uh, the other thing is, is I've just noticed like a lot of people uh, in my realm or in my world are experiencing a lot of relationship difficulties. Uh, things are blowing up. <clears throat> I know for me, uh, electronics has been goofy to say the least. Be curious as to what's going on for you. But right off the top, we have the death card followed by the nine of cups. Well, the death card is your card, Scorpio, and I'm gonna read it as such. With the nine of cups here, we have the 10 of cups, the hierophant, and the queen of cups. Success, happy spouse, happy house, hierophant, a connection, uh, possibly with a Taurus, and the queen of cups. It's like, what you thought was successful um, may be overwhelming now. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. It's like, okay, there's, or the other way that I want to read this is there's been a change in success. There's been a change in what you thought was successful. There's been a change in the household um, that uh, is overwhelming. There's been a change in all of this. <clears throat> For some of you, it's a good thing. For some of you, maybe not so much. Now looking to a desire. The desire is the Ace of Cups. This is clarified by the Chariot, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. You may be wanting a new relationship, uh, a new love, something that's a little more... Um, exciting or juvenile, not something that has been long lasting. The chariot, you may be unsure as to, or maybe now you know a direction that you want to go. Uh, when it comes to establishing uh, a connection or household stability, and it may become uh, less confusing for some of you, or that there's more options, <clears throat> and that itself uh, can be confusing. I don't know, energies, like I said, have been all over the place, so I'd be really curious as to see how this actually resonates for you guys. Oh, sorry, not giving you the finger, just pushing up my glasses here. Uh, <laughs> the outcome, the possible outcome in the near future is the uh, King of Swords. It wasn't going back into the deck, so I am taking it out. The King of Wands, Seven of wands, ace of pentacles, and the high priestess. There is the possibility here that somebody may be a bit of a player, uh, they may be enforcing their demands, that type of thing, uh, or being really, really defensive. They're sort of in and out, and they're not very, um, they're not very stable. Uh, for others of you, there's the opportunity to start a business and really have things go forward in a way that is actually quite good. With the High Priestess here, uh, there's a lot of things that you may or may not know that's coming through uh, sort of downloads. But you've been fighting, uh, you've been fighting this opportunity. When we looked at the desire, or sorry, we've already looked at the desire. When we look at what was working or what is working for you, we see the Six of Cups. This is a connection. This could be a connection from the past that you've had for a while or a connection that's coming back. We have the Seven of Swords, the World, and the Knight of Wands. Something seems unfair, but that said, things are coming to a close with something. A new chapter is being opened up, and the Knight of Wands... Are you going to take advantage of it? Move in, move out, move on. What you need to be aware of is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands, yeah, that's uh, actually Five of Wands has been showing up a lot for uh, reads. So has the world. 
we have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. This Five of Wands is, you know, nattering, bickering, a little bit of fighting, whether this, <clears throat> it's not really damaging at all. It's just kind of um, figuring things out. Figuring out whether to walk away, continue doing what you're doing, but it just seems really, really heavy with the Ten of Wands here. We have the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. <sighs> you may not know what to do uh, once a breakup happens here. With the Eight of Swords, you may just be really in your head about this, uh, really withdrawn with the Hermit around a breakup, uh, because there was some things with the Five of Swords that just wasn't fair. Uh, that could be you that wasn't fair. It could be them that was, wasn't was fair or how situations transpired. So that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week, Scorpio, and we'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.